Hey guy, welcome to press out a guy. Oh, it's bad. I'm Mal. It's bad. All right, you know what? Here, I'll t I'll take this for a little bit. You just eat your tofu. <laughs> okay. All right. Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. I already said that. Huh? I was saying it again. Rude. Uh, Jeez, some someone's over there sustaining themselves with food. Yep. Is it is that just a big thing of tofu? Is that all, is it just crunchy tofu? Don't. It's buffalo tofu. Isn't that illegal? No. Oh, oh, like like it's just tofu, no buffalo. Okay. All right, back to business. <laughs> back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Rad Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. Oh. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see a dog. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not what yep. that was at all. <laughs> Uh, sup, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? H h honey, some help here? Uh, hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're really bad with dogs, eh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank gods. What will you have? Mal, do you, do you need another moment, Mal? No. Okay. Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a Bleeding Jane. <laughs> Coming right, um, up. Bleeding Jane for Dorothy in order of her time of the month? Eh, it seems like a fine ritual. I mean, she's a robot, though. Does she have... Does she menstruate? Or is this some kind of weird Ma joke? Mal, are you... Are you suggesting robots... Are you suggesting every robot doesn't menstruate? Yes. Oh. Oh, well, okay. That's a good question, then. Here. That time of the month. Do Leela menstruate? Yes. Oil. No, silly. We don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane. Uh, so, how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although, it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lelum. Half of them get a, uh, got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans, or do you serve Lee Lim too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? <laughs> Human from the neck up. Dicks preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict, though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curio curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Ooh, all right. A big blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. Is she a pixie? Sure. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Have we made a blue fairy before? Yeah. I think we've made all I think we've made all of these at this point. I see. Three, uh, and then one, two, three, four. And then uh one, two, three. Sure. Yeah, why not? And then aged. It's aged. <sighs> Maxed. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Here you go. God, I can't wait to drink alcohol later. Are you gonna drink alcohol later? Yeah! 
back porch party. Mal, we're, we're recording <coughs> live right now. Yeah. We Mal. almost recorded last night when I was actively drunk. Oh, that's true. Gosh, Mal came stumbling in like Sonic the Hedgehog going down a hill. Yeah. And I was like, ah! Right, because I, I came at them so fast, they I was just a blue blur. Yeah, and, uh, I thought they were gonna die. I shattered, and the and the flicky inside me flew off into the distance. Oh, thank goodness it's free. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He died. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he saw one, but he was dizzy, and what he'd seen was his own puke. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That, I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank. <sighs> what? <sighs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman! Uh, Sometimes they try to cover it up. The Leelum wants to be human. It's then when I say, no, I want you. Uh, After that I say, well at the very least I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Is that, isn't that just a pickle? Mm. Sometimes <laughs> I spice it up. Well, I mean, isn't that also a pickle? Anyways, instead of cucumbers, oh, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. I once thought about screaming, help, I'm, oh. No. My, this, okay. Dorothy. Not, not, none of this is funny. It's not. But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. Oh, oh, I mean, okay. How considerate. Yeah, super considerate, Dorothy. Although, I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. Oh. Huh. Oh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get the it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay, then tell me your age first. 27. No fair. You didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My mom's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. Mm. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. All right. What? Why is a cobalt velvet weird? I don't know. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. I still can't believe that there are multiple endings to this game. I know. I'm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like what's like what 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 is right, gonna what's be? gonna happen? Like, like was I supposed to get like really drunk with Dana earlier or something or? Yeah. Well, you tried. I was just having no, some beers. No, you tried to get really drunk with Dana. It was Dana. only Cobalt six. Velvet. Yep, this is the one. In like an hour. I, oh, do yeah. you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey, what day is today? What day is today? Wednesday. No, the number. The number. Number? 21. Shouldn't you know that? I'm a Leelum, not a calendar. I thought you would know that much. Next, you're going to tell me to make some convoluted calculation. Y you can't? I could if I put my mind to it, but it's not something I have quick access to. Yes, I have an inner calendar and a calculator, but those are used in lots of other operations every second. I could do all that, but it's a lot quicker to just ask you. I see. Why do you need the date, though? I have something to do on the 26th. I've been avoiding it for a while now. That's creepy! What's going on? Hassy Zero? Nope, that because that's that's been showing up periodically since the beginning. And I'm really, really curious about what? What? What is it? All right, what's Dorothy avoiding? Oh, but don't worry. It's nothing dangerous or anything like that. Just 
heavy. No, says Jill internally. Would you like some help? Would you help me? Uh, you tell me what it is you need help with. Maybe later. I have to go now. See you later. Bye. Do you think she really can't access calendars and calculators that easily? I guess it's kind of like how even if a text processor can access the computer's calendar, you don't use it for that. Mm, I guess. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. Huh? <laughs> Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school? <laughs> that would be a hassle. Oh gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. For the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today there have been two kids already. Uh, how would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? I like how they're not even acknowledging the kid. <laughs> kid hasn't even said anything. I think the kid's waiting to be acknowledged. Uh, kids cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um, excuse me, miss. <laughs> this is no place for kids, so you should... Um... Jill, just say something. Gil, she's staring too much, and she's saying nothing. Also, uh, one of our lovely viewers point out that it probably is Jill. No. Because earlier there was a thing where Jill and Jill rhymed, and someone pointed out that it rhymed. <sighs> or that they had the same name. I guess, but I don't wanna. <laughs> all right, we can keep saying Gil and Gillian, but I'm just telling you. That's, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's confusing. She's not ordering anything. She's not causing trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So, what do you suggest? Let her be? Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. That doesn't look shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jill. Wah! How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? R right. A beer for Gil. Haven't I seen that girl before? Have we, have, have we seen this girl before? Haven't I seen that girl before? Are you sure? I... I've seen that girl before. Are you making fun of me now? I feel like I've seen her before. No, Jill just said fucking said no, it. No, I know you're. I know Jill said Here. that. Thanks. And lower your guard a bit, please. No. Oh yeah. Before I forget, the disposal unit comes on Saturday. Do you have any expired Sunday. ingredients? On Saturday. Do you have any expired? No. <laughs> expired ingredients on your side? <laughs> All right. Yeah. There's a bottle of Carmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. <gasps> yeah. Yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. Not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um. Jesus Christ, mm. Jill. Hey, Jill. What? Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week, so I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Chump change is still money. Pocket change to save my ass many times. What? Did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once, and the old lady started it. Right. 
Why doesn't arcades still use coins nowadays? Or physical money when you get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Maybe. In 20 XDX? Mm-hmm. Hey, miss. Uh, eh, yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say do, but... Eh, sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis. Sister? Not even a sister-in-law? Uh... No way. Gabby? Let's say Gabby. No! Oh my god, Mel. Ah, uh, yeah, Gabby sounds way, way, M way, way better. Way better than Gabby! I know. Is that really you? Uh. Tony! God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. R right. Oh, wow, what the fuck was that? Whoa, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girlfriend. My ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools. I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll, le I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat? Color me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. <laughs> <clears throat> so, how's Lenore doing? She's dead. Sorry, uh, I don't think I heard right. Jesus Christ. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Uh, come on, Gabby. Stop fooling around. No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow! My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all merry here mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be Mary worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect. And all of that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my- Shut up! Huh? I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake! It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection! Hell, this is the first time I've even heard she was sick! Ugh. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared. But I needed to grab a hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with your sister. I, I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Ugh. Idiot. Hmm. Ah! Oh, wow. I... I... I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Sad face. Oh, wow. Wow, that was such an upsetting conversation that we went to the other style of, of uh, video game chat. <laughs> wow. Home sweet home. Mm. Hey, Jill, you want to grab something to eat? Mm. I'm not hungry. 
Want me to come in? Keep you company? I, I'm fine. I just, just need to be alone for a bit. Jill, you can tell me, oh, excuse me, you can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay. It's, it's not. Come here, Jill. Come here. It, it's just, I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. And not only that, but I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks, boss. I really needed this. You want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you, or if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four, she's in your care, you hear? Meow. <laughs> so I have a question. Was that Four meowing, or was that Jill making a meow sound? If it was Jill making a meow sound, there would be air quotes around Four. Ah, damn it. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. Wow, fucking brutal. Damn. Dang, and we didn't even get our $8,000 for our electrical bill. <laughs> well... We've got a couple more days. Uh, Jill smiled a bit at the cutesy poster. Oh, she likes the poster that we got for her. I honestly forget which one because I think we have three separate posters. Yeah. Well, I think I think the best boss is less of a poster and something that we already had. Yeah, we, we had that already for sure. All right, Jill's being real quiet over there. Yeah. Let's go see what's over on the Dangerous Opinions. Uh -huh. McKees releasing EKDV 186 update. Is this the greatest thing to ever grace planet Earth? I literally can't stop touching myself. Such a high quality release. But why is the camo blurry? I think it's a regulation for the civilian models. Something's off. I'd be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit taste is showing. Nah, I just think I'm kind of decent, decent. I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Yeah, I think it's that. I better stop buying so many weapons already, or I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word on the camo stuff for other civilian weaponry? They said they were going to announce more stuff on a later date. I like porn, you guys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow. We read that one already. Yeah, uh, read that one. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the Augmented Eye. Mm -hmm. Kiramiki Encore concert announced. Fans of oh sorry go ahead no it's fine fans of the famous cyber idol Kiramiki are in for a huge party all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Silver Thunder Superdome I'm so excited to extend my visit declared the cyber idol during an interview tickets are now up for sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes so be quick to secure the best spots you can get tickets from the following ticket retailers click them damn it I, I want to click all I can do is like click idol hell I can just kind of no. paw at them that's all I can do damn it. That's all right. All right. New act proposes increased surveillance. We have now machines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Many people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided if we had more, more control over the masses, Quincy said during a parliament meeting. We have the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it as, at this point. When asked about the possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's real fucked up. Uh, 66 American Kids Returns challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match. Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative responses from fans. Challenger after challenger has tried to make, take the title away from the imposing giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. 66 American Kids... That's a fuck of a wrestler name. Yeah. 66 American Kids surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected, and then challenging Giant Yusuke to a title match on January 4th at the Super Silver Thunderdome. This January, I'll become the champion GSF deserves! 66 American Kid proclaimed during a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in the Kokoro Hall. Oh. Huh. Alright, cool. Wow. Is there anything we want by the shop? Um. We get a movie poster. Like, it's only 250! 
50 bucks. Yeah, I bought Mwah. that movie poster. Mwah. Yeah, see, it's great. Here, where, where is it? Right it's right there. Ah, oh, perfect. Hey, and if you want to go see out the other thing, dang it, what was the difference we're doing this mail? Oh, we're hey. We're thanking people. We're thanking people, not demanding things of them. So, so if you're subscribed to our channel or if you support us on Patreon, thanks so fucking much. Uh, but you should subscribe to our channel or support us on Patreon. If you don't already. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, the Patreon's optional. It's just like a nice little thing. But, oh, well, but well, obviously. We, we really appreciate it. All of this is optional, Tony. That's not true. All right, bye, everybody. <laughs> bye.